Hello friends and welcome to Linux Game World, and a special welcome to the new subscribers. Today we're going to take a look at Rust Bucket Rumble, a side-scrolling battle arena game recently released on Steam for Linux and some other platforms we won't mention. This is such a new game, at least on Steam, it can be difficult finding a game to play. Waiting for a match to be created takes some patience. People regularly drop out of the queue, which can cause the whole matchmaking process to start over again. It makes me wonder if the developers could refine their matchmaking in some way. If the game gets more popular, this probably won't be as much of an issue. The goal of the game is to create a giant robot which will then destroy the opposing side's recycler. You do this by shooting enemy robots and turning them into scrap, then carrying the scrap back to your own recycler where it gets turned into metal for the giant robot. It's all about science. You have to be careful though because when you take out enemies, they're just stunned temporarily and can revert back to robot form before you get their scrap to your recycler. The more times an enemy is stunned before being recycled, the more slowly it reverts back to robot form. Once a giant robot is created, you have to take it down by shooting its big glowing button thingy. You can help to strengthen your robot by dropping buckets of scrap in front of it, which it will then scoop up with its mighty tractor beam. The graphics are bright and the art style is good. The music is minimalistic, but it works. The game can be fun, but it does have some issues it needs to overcome. First, the game feels a little unbalanced. Daisy, the pink robot in the yellow power frame, is supposed to be a support unit and not a frontline unit, but she's currently the most powerful of the regular characters in the game. The way she can roll out a steady stream of shots is hard to avoid, but even more than that, the fact she can fly scrap buckets back to her recycler using drones while she continues playing, even multiple scrap buckets at once, just feels unbalanced. If a team is composed completely of daisy bots, as long as they're not completely inexperienced, they're almost always going to win. Simply changing Daisy so she had to carry one bucket of scrap back to the recycler at a time herself, just like the other bots, would go a long way toward making her feel more balanced. Second, like I mentioned before, the matchmaking system needs some work. People often drop out of a game before it even starts, and people often drop out during a game if their side isn't winning. It's not uncommon to play for a few minutes, and suddenly have the teams completely unbalanced from people leaving the game. And third, sometimes the game can get kind of laggy, and when it does, the controls go a bit wobbly. If the developers address these issues, this game really has the possibility of being a fun, popular, casual arena battle game. The game really does have a lot of potential just waiting to be explored, so if it looks interesting to you, it's free on Steam, so give it a try. Thanks for watching Linux Game World. All of your likes and subscribes are appreciated. Your subscribably dues, so keep doing them. Lots of them. All the time. And join us again next time for more of this kind of stuff. You know, games on Linux. Yeah.